Well, howdy, partners. Howdy. We're back for some more poker. Poker. Y'all ready, Tom? I'm real ready. Okay. Now, is this the this is the fifth one we've done, isn't it? Yeah. I yeah, believe. We're five, so, five in now. Five. So I think the plan is Lewis wants to take a double crown. I think is his play. He wants a double crown. He wants a double crown. And then for the final, in a few weeks' time, we will have six people in that final. Six people in yes. the final. So I believe the person, like, we, we'll take the five winners, and then the person who comes closest will then be into the grand finale. I think wow. is the plan. Either way, I know Lewis wants this because he likes to think of himself as a bit of a player. He was lecturing the other players out there in the office. Oh, no. Saying, I'm, uh, glad, I'm glad they dodged. Stop being bad. You've got to play the cards. Exactly. Should we go to the table? Let's see Let's what those guys are up Let's to. Let's see what they're wearing. Oh, my good heavens. Wow. Uh, and I think we might have a little message from Terps. We'd like to thank Pokerists uh, for sponsoring the tournament. Pokerists, over 100 million downloads. Uh, if you want to try it out, uh, it helps justify them sponsoring this. Uh, it's pokerists.com slash yogscast. Uh, tell them Terps sent you, specifically. I get a bit of extra on the side. What? Uh, I don't. What about Flex our cast? Look at this. Uh, Look at that. Strong oh, man. Goodness. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, look at this. Can I just watch this arm? Look at, look at this digging in. <laughs> That's just <laughs> like... Uh, anyway, we've, we've been doubting. Thank you, Pokerist. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, fuck, this is the, the penultimate round before the final. Mm. I've won one already. Lewis has won one already. Shin's won one already. Also safe. Oh. So really, we're looking, this is, I guess, between Radders and Duncan. Oh! But oh, no. we're still going to beat you. Yeah, if you do want to see more poker stuff, then uh, listen to Terps. Because I love doing this, Tom. It's one of my favourite uh, events. Coming down here and, and you know doing the poker, it's it's great fun. Hanging out in the the little room. Hanging um, out in the little cubby and watching poker. Just watching these guys play, uh, and we're going straight in. Terps with a pair of nines. The, Very there's nice. a couple of playable hands here. Shin is going to want to get involved with Ace Eight because it's suited. It's only fifty to call. Terps is going to raise it up, I think. Radders is going to call. Call <laughs> No, 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 no. Sorry, check. <laughs> you mean cool. No, 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 bet. Cool. 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 Yeah. cool. So, Radder, I, asked, I said to Radders, have you played much poker? She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I've been learning all about it. And then she said, I've almost got the ranking of the hands down. And I was like, okay, so you really haven't. Like, if you're still having to figure out. She was like, no, 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 I mean, like, what's good to call and what's good pre before the cards come down in the middle and all that. So I was like, okay. So she's pretty new. But, but I played a board game with Radders one time. She is cunning. Yeah. She's cunning, yeah. She's she's uh, she's got some strategy going on here. She's also flopped top pair. Uh, well, sorry, second pair. But Shin has. Can you see what Shin has, Young Tom? Oh my he god. He has a draw to the nut flush. There is, however, a problem. Five hundred. It's a paired board. So if another queen or another jack comes, then Shin might be in trouble. Uh, equally, if a nine comes, Terps make a makes a full house. This could be an interesting one. Yeah, I'll see it. And it would also give Radders 9, 10 Jack Queens, so she might think she's good drawing to a straight. This is some kind of pop. So we're going in going in hot. You know, people, they wanted to start playing straight away. This is already a 2.5k pot, Tom. That's half of their stacks is already in the middle. It's an 8. Shin has now made a pair of 8s and has a draw to the nut flush. Terps really doesn't have anything. With his pair of nines, he's, he's basically beaten. 2,000. Ooh. Radders has a pair of jacks. She is currently going to win, but Terps is going to try to steal it. I'm not going all in. I'm not saying, like, oh, put your life on the line. I'm saying, give me more of your chips. This is the first hand, Duncan. Terps is going to have his way with Radders. She's going to be indecisive. Goodness, Tom. What a suggestion. All over the place, and Terps is going to, I She's think... She's just called him. She's smooth called 2K. This might be over in hand one, Tom. She takes all the all Shin the cannot call this. No, I'm out. Good fold. Shin does this. He gets into the situation where he actually makes good decisions, and then he'll just follow it up with a disastrous decision. <laughs> it's a five. Terps thinks his nines are good. Radders is never laying this down. And I actually think she's right to not put him on a queen. It's Terps. She should just call this, I think. She's invested too much. I, I think she's going to call. She'll do it, I reckon. Maybe by folding the first hand, I might still beat Radders. <laughs> <laughs> But like we had uh, last time, where Smithy would take nothing from Terps, and Terps knew he couldn't try anything. I think Bradders being new to this. She's called. All right, Terps. Holy, Smithy, she's Terps. called you down. I bet he's got nothing. I got two nines. Oh, Bradders has got a jack! So she didn't put him on a queen, right? Which is, I think, a good 
A, a good call. You, you can't just put him on a queen because it's Terps. And if she's watched any of these before, she knows that Terps is going to bet into these pots. He's going to bully. He's going to try and scare people. He never backs off. The thing is, once he's got a customer for his bluff or his semi bluff, he doesn't think, oh, God, they're calling everything here and back off. He keeps going. And at that point, he doesn't have enough chips left yeah. to actually scare her off the pot. 2,000 into an 8K pot, easy call. So you could have flushed it on that last two. I could have, but I'm glad I didn't try. See, I'm glad Shim folded as well, because even if he'd made an another eight, he would have had a full house. Of course, that would have been the, the money. So Terps is bound to 650 chips and is now very sad that he set the rule at a single buy-in. <laughs> really? So what, what are we set at? I believe that what we're going for is one rebuy before the break, mm -hmm. unless, Tom, and this is where you and I have some authority on the matter, unless we think we'll be entertaining to let them back in. Okay. So that's our call. I think if they disappoint us with their poker, no buyback. But if they have played well and it was a bad beat and unlucky, I could see us. Yeah, that, that sounds I could see good. us granting them a buyback. Duncan hasn't said much so far. I think he's trying to play seriously this time. Yeah, I think he definitely wants his win. And I know that he is someone who has been using the poker. Yes, a him lot. and Shin have actually been using it. Duncan a lot, though. I think it's helped him. He's got his sunglasses on. He's not looking lost. He's no, he's betting pre-flop with cards. He definitely seems way more comfortable at the table than like previous sessions that we've had him in. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so we, we should be locking the cards in when the readers detected them now. So thank God. So once they've seen them, if they, because the problem is these guys are amateur players, Tom, no offense to them. They but they fiddle are. Around. They check their cards constantly. So what we want to do is once the readers read them, lock them in place. We don't need to know that they've taken their cards off the glass. Once they've been read, there's really no reason to do anything other than lock the cards. Shin's got top pair, reasonable kicker with the nine. Is that one of your cards? <laughs> Is that one of your cards? I like that. Duncan, I don't believe has much of anything. He's got a king and... Yeah, they, they, they... I'm checking. A three. A three. Shin should bet this. Just 200. <laughs> <laughs> like, but these small pot pickups are what poker is about they call it small ball poker or low like low ball poker like you, you want to get these little pots so a lot of these tournament structures the deeper ones that i was discussing last time tom you want to just win the blinds just keep doing that over and over and over a lot of very successful players will play small ball poker right. so you avoid the big dangerous pots you bet pre-flop to take everybody's chips Especially in later stages of tournaments, you'll have something called the ante. Oh, right. So okay. let's say the blinds are 100, 200. The ante is 25. So everyone has to put in 25, even if they're not the big blind or small blind. Okay. Everybody puts in 25, say, and then the big blind and the small blind go. So there's a reasonable amount of money in there. Right, okay. If you steal once in orbit, if you manage to steal the blinds, you're basically, you're at the status quo. You're yeah, seeing yeah. the orbit of the table for Everything free, essentially. So you've got to keep doing that at least... You should always be thinking about the blinds, always. So is that where the term upping the ante comes from? That's up the ante. Yeah, exactly. So the ante, A-N-T-E, is literally a, a forced bet beyond the blinds. Mm, Just because that way the pot is pretty big. You see that in cash games a lot. Right, okay. So the cards have been pretty quiet. Little little sleepy so far, but I like this. That it builds, Tom. It builds. Turps and Shin, both with uh, you know, some matching matching suited cards. Yep. Uh, suited semi connectors for Shin, unsuited connectors for Duncan, and suited connectors for Turps. Looks playable, seven eight. Especially though you look down those little hearts, you know, you think, ooh, potential. So this is a, a good flop for, for Turps. He's flopped uh, an open and straight draw, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, no one has an ace, which might be a little scary for a few people. Oh, holding out of line, <laughs> holding out of line. Shin has a backdoor flush draw if two more spades come. So I think Radders has folded her five, three. Lewis is folding the queen eight. Duncan, 550 to call. He should absolutely get out of here. Everybody folds. See, this, this is honestly more like poker, Tom. I'm actually, I'm happy. People are betting and people that don't have anything, Tom, they're, they're putting their cards down. They're just getting They're getting saying, away. nope, I don't have enough to, to call that. I don't really have much. I'm out. Because he's already through the final. He don't give a shit. It doesn't matter, exactly. I can just sit here enjoying this Prosecco. Hang on. I'm a fitness geek. I can't have that. Don't worry. <laughs> my body's Got a my shaker. Oh. Right, Shit. what are we going to go for? Oh. A bit of pre-workout, maybe. Oh, Can you put nice. some food in it? Sorry? Prosecco? No, that would... I've never... Maybe, let's try it. Make it Prosecco, yeah, do it. <laughs> do it, do it. Okay. The thing is, is I worry, because this... Oh, oh it's going to be delicious. It's going to be so good. So I've gone that. for pink lemonade. That might be okay. I'm okay. a little bit concerned. Pink lemonade Now, the thing well. is, the way this Prosecco. works, okay, because I got this, this might a while like ago on, on, on Prime Challenge. Day. What is that, creatine? No, this is workout free. This is pure energy. This is going to get me fucking yeah. hyped. But obviously, to mix it, 
Oh my god, no. He's actually got his mixer. Don't, I'm not wasting any energy and calories shaking. No, no that's for down the gym. Damn. I've just got my water as well. I can plug it or I can <laughs> curl it. I can curl it. How many props can you bring? The thing is, these aren't even props. The, the, the shake that you take to help you work out, you don't even have to shake it. Yeah. Wouldn't that? He said, I'm not wasting any energy. I want to use it all down the gym. But I'm like, that's pretty lazy. Do, do not drink that. My goodness, how's this going to taste? Vile. It's a 10. <laughs> it's a 10. <laughs> okay, sure. Bam. Right, we're, we're, we're doing it. Just that's, the, that's a 10. The look of disgust on, on Shin's face right there. Richard Simmons is not impressed. He does look fantastic. There was a fitness guy in the, in the 80s, Tom, when I was living in America, called Slim Goodbody. Slim good buddy. That That's an amazing name. name. I know. And he was he was not just a fitness guy, he also taught you about human anatomy. So Slim Goodbody's outfit was a neck to toe skin suit, like you know, like a lycra suit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But with internal organs printed on it. So it looked like someone had ripped the flesh from skin okay. from Slim Goodbody. So you could see like his heart and his lungs. And he was on TV and you'd see him. I saw Slim Goodbody, I say in the flesh, obviously in the yeah, organs. Yeah. On, uh, oddly enough, an aircraft carrier. There was like an open day on this aircraft carrier. And just Slim Goodbody so, and there was. And I was like, oh, it's Slim Goodbody. Nobody in chat will remember Slim Goodbody unless they are old and American because well, honestly, Slim Goodbody, look it up. He, he was awesome. He was one of my heroes as a kid. Everyone let us know if you remember if Slim Goodbody. If you remember Goodbody. Slim Goodbody. So we got 910 for Terps, looks a playable hand. Ace 5 for Radders, similar. Duncan has a really good hand here and he is, he's calling Radders, so he's slow playing this. If an ace comes, this could be danger. Two hearts, no one's got hearts. Everyone's looking for diamonds. It's great, changed great, since great. I went all in. All of you Shit. had to double check on your massive raise. I know, I know. Um, thousand. Is he bet? Is he bet a thousand? You're not committed, you've got to answer this. Oh, okay, you can take that back, Mr. Backs. Duncan. All right, Duncan. Pair of tens. Oh, ice cream. Ooh. So you're behind, Duncan. So yeah. if he gets a jack, you've got two over, over cards. Any picture card yeah. is, and I'm out. is good, pretty yeah. much. Okay. Oh. It's good. It's a diamond as well. I just need three more diamonds. Yeah, half a flush. If you've got ace queen and nothing drops on the flop, though, you should be out. Yeah, if he's yeah, better yeah. than you, you're out. No, that's ace queen. That's still good. But he got rid of Redders, and Redders might have yeah. a better hand. Yeah, what we, do you have, actually? That's interesting, actually. But, um, uh, ace three. Worth it, I think. Ace so, three. No, oh, you had an ace. Oh, shit. Well, that's good information, because obviously Duncan, then, that's one less ace for him to get. Mm. Like I always say, Tom, ace queen looks real pretty until the flop comes down. So do you have, like, a, a feeling, like, you know, who you think's, who you think's going to, like, clean I up I actually today? think so far, I'm quite content with the level of poker being played. People have made good bets. That was a bit of a bad call, I think, from Duncan, assuming he didn't just bet into Terps there. I think Terps put him on Nada, and he was right. you got to trust your gut sometimes. Because Terps has just slowly picked up chips these last yeah, couple of hands. Yeah, never give up. <laughs> a chip and a chair is all you need in this game. I like that. That's the saying, chip and a chair. A chip and a chair. Chip and a chair. That's it. He's still in and the tournament. Never give up. Pocket full of luck. <laughs> or Dreams. extra aces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or something other. up your sleeve. So 8-6 for Lewis, I know he likes to play these. So Radders and Duncan have nothing. Terps has a playable hand, Lewis has a playable hand, Shin has a playable hand. Now I would say, like I said, Tom, suited connectors often miss. Like you're not looking to hit the 10 or the nine. Right. You're looking to hit a straight or an up and down straight draw. So Lewis has much more potential because he has some suited, uh, which does, you know, give you more options. So if it comes down like, five seven of spades obviously he's got a great draw it can't because there are quite a few spades already out there yeah so shin is called lewis is in there uh radders is still in there really with the jack deuce i don't like that jack two's a terrible hand you should fold it almost all the time oh my i got what have i how is that two ace of spades Three ace of spades. <laughs> That's incredible. So that four isn't isn't working. We might need to swap the decks out. The little detector thing you can see there, Tom, in the middle yes. of our little white circle. That's the the RFID chip or whatever that it that reads. Direction. Yes. Uh, I can do that. We got a dead four. We got a dead four, lads. Okay. So that doesn't help Lewis, uh, but he has got um, a pair of eights. Terps has runner runner to a straight eight nine ten, so he needs a lot of help. Radders has nothing. 
Yeah, they swapped it out. Look at that, he's just got a spare four. Tom, I see I question marks all around. Just happens to have another four. Really? Just some really? spare cards, just Is that you know, why in the pockets. The, yeah, the old like Lando, he's got the cards up his sleeve. Oh, nice. I'm hoping that Shin doesn't say, ooh, I've got a pair of fives, and even though there are two cards out there higher than that, I think these are good. Like, I think Shin might have learned. In a multi-way pot, you're scared of the ace here. What have you got, though? What That's have you cute. got, though? The ultimate question in poker. What have you got, though? Yeah, tell him what, what you've got. Come on, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to believe him here, Shin. You don't want to get involved. You're not deeply invested in this pot. It's a, it's it's a very low pot. He's getting bloody cool, isn't he? I'll send these 50s, because oh. he likes 50s oh. anyway. <laughs> Having a pocket pair sometimes looks great, but I mean, if a five comes, obviously that's great for, for Shin, but there are only two cards in the deck that get we've him out seen, of trouble here. We've not seen any other fives like come down. Yeah, it's true. No one folded a five, but... Seven. Doesn't... If a five comes, it's actually disastrous for Shin. Because it would give Lewis oh, a straight. straight. If that five lands, Lewis, Lewis cleans Shin out. Yes. Mind games. <laughs> so again, now there are three cards beating Shin, and he's still going to be married to these fives. And worse, although there's no way for him to know that, if he does improve, he loses even harder. Naffold. <laughs> Good. Well done. Bam. So, like I said before many times, Tom, the power of the pocket pair, the low pocket pair, is not... Once four cards come down that are higher, that you secretly have a lower pair. It's like, no, no, there's no value in that. The value is that when a five comes down, it's a disguised hand, very well disguised hand. If it comes down, ace, five, deuce, yes, there are potentials that someone's got three, four, but you've also got a kind of a secret set. Yeah, yeah. No one's gonna put you on three, five. Pocket nines for Terps, king, queen for Lewis. I think Radis has jack 10 again? Was it jack 10 or nine, 10? Not sure. Queen 10, queen okay. 10. These are three interesting little playable hands. Um, it's a lot of money to see the flop, I will say that. A nine would be brutal here. Nine king queen. Oh, it's a, uh, okay, so he's flopped top set. And he smooth checks it, ooh, I like this from Terps. Eight, nine, 10, a jack makes oh, jack. a lot of money for riders here with a straight. Lewis hasn't caught any part of it, but I know Lewis. He's gonna bet and try and steal this. You did like do this. You were like, <laughs> you, you thought about making a bet there. And so that tells me yeah. that you maybe got something. Um, I will check. They check. Next card, please. It's an eight. That's a full house for Terps. Looked at his chip straight away. Instantly. Instant How look at How much chip. money can I make? She didn't call that, did she? <laughs> <laughs> she called? Getting out of the way of this hot stuff. She is drawing completely dead. She's drawing to the gut shot, Tom. Do you remember I was talking about the gut shot? The classic the gut shot. The middle pin. She needs that jack. And even if she hits it, She's gonna be worse off. Oh no. She's now made two pair. Maybe there's too many people in my what house. Need poo. No, so, I'm saying I got a full house. Oh. So, how are you gonna... <laughs> how are you gonna... He's actually saying what he's got and joking around. Put all of those in. Thank how you. much have you got? I don't know. Whatever that is. If someone says, How much have you got? You don't have to say anything. You can just gesture. Dealer can count it for them, or you just have to eyeball it. You do not have to say a word. Really? Yep. Oh, He's got a full house. house. Yeah, she was nice. lying. I said. Oh, oh said, my god. You could stay, stay out. Stay out. Okay, fair there enough. There you go. Fair See, enough. sometimes, Ooh. sometimes the creepy uncle, you know, he asks you to sit on his knee because he just genuinely wants to give you a nice little jiggle. <laughs> what? That uh, sounds even worse. Okay, yeah, so, um, I'm, you know, good round, good round, you know, some chips changed hands on old creepy uncle Terps. So you were hoping for... I was just hoping he was just chatting shit like usual. If she'd had the queen on the turn, I would understand the call more. Because then, a a... yes, she's improved, she's got a queen, a pair of queens, which looks like the top pair on the board, and she could improve to a straight if she, he's got a better queen or he's actually got a set. To call on the turn with a, with a gut shot straight draw and then... Im slightly improve on the end. I don't like it. Because you know Terps has got something strong. He's bet the whole time. Yeah, he's like, he, he Actually, he checked the flop and then he bet the turn, which to me shows strength. Like if someone checks the flop and then bets, yes, they might be trying to steal it. But when he instantly looks at his chips, you think he's got something. Does and he gives. checked very quickly, which is unlike Terps. He bets a lot more than he checks. I would have put him on a, on a trap there, I think. It's easy to say when I can see the cards, of course. And I oh, for sure, yeah. We have the magic power of hindsight and, you know, and, and omni omnipotence. Yeah. You know, we know everything. 
Oh, everything. See, this has definitely been one of the more like relaxed early games by I this point. I think it's been good. It's been relatively tight. People are making laydowns. They're not making stupid calls. I think you're bluffing like every every time. But we, we would have had buy-ins. It's those half films, boys, man. Several all-ins just from yeah. multiple players all into a pot where they've got like a, a king yes. at, at the end. Or, and they're like, or nothing. Like we saw a call on the previous session where was it Trot or Ross who called with 8-5 had nothing. <laughs> called an all-in with 8-5. Like he, it was the, the, the bluff call. It's an absolute mess.